Okay. So, that is recording. Genius cycle, mm -hmm. right? Gestalt learning cycle that you, with the mm -hmm. movement. Mm -hmm. Noticing and making a choice when you have some difference. Right, mm -hmm. some experience of yes, and I would say that the the big thing is I got actually that is the question that I've been asking that has been the difference that made the difference that has me be able to know how to know how to do that because you've been asking what's the difference that made the difference uh -huh. asking that question is the difference yes that has made the difference yes yes <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, and this you could say this is the, and as soon as you hit that, that's when you get the, you hit the part in the asymptotic curve. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where you're starting to go vertical. And what it does is that when I ask myself this question, I notice what it has me put my attention on is reality. Like, this is, this is not, this is, I'm getting what you're saying that, uh, reality is primary, right? Consciousness is secondary to reality, right? And that now we're getting into maybe maybe why reality created consciousness, right? So it can in, or, in order to see itself. Yeah, I, I think that's a tremendous uh, poetic expression. It's also uh -huh. um, the only way to explain, right? Yeah. The nature of it, because you could say that uh, Rand says once you have life and death, right, all values are fundamentally come out of life and death. Mm. Because if you don't, if you can't live or die, mm. if there's no difference, like a, she says, imagine a robot that was completely indestructible, mm. and it's therefore its life couldn't get better or worse. Mm. It would have no values. Mm. It's life and death. Ultimately, if I do this, I will die. If I do this, I will live. Mm. Is at the bottom of all values. Mm. Right? Because there's a consequence. Mm. There's a real world consequence. There's a reality. Mm. All values are sourced in reality. Mm. And so if we're looking at reality, we discover values. Mm. And the more we look at reality, the more we can work with it mm. to thrive. Mm. And so that was built into the first bacteria. Mm. As soon as it was alive, evolution said, the better you can look at reality, the more you'll be able to respond to it, the more likely you will be to survive. Mm -hmm. And so that consciousness of reality, that attention on reality that has you shift according to reality to worship reality and put reality above all things mm -hmm. to have reality be the home of your values mm -hmm. to the degree that you do that mm. you're going to survive more than any other mm. species any other thing mm. which means that you're going to be selected for in evolution mm. and so that focus on reality such that you're reacting with reality is the fundamental unit of life and evolution mm. and so as evolution as life evolves consciousness evolves mm. what is consciousness noticing reality and reacting to it according to the feedback system mm -hmm. of your yes and this feedback system is built meta, for life meta levels. it's built it's built for more yes. life and yes. so as life gets more complex mm -hmm. Its ability to respond to reality gets more complex, mm -hmm. and the machinery, mm -hmm. the brain, this thing, the sensory nerve systems, right? The 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 thing at the tip of your finger that when you put it on something hot, it has you pull away. Mm -hmm. That sensitivity and reaction to the world is when you just multiply that on itself, it becomes actual human self consciousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of paths that it can take. Mm -hmm. But in humans, it's taken this path of we created language. And as soon as we created language, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. all of a sudden we could encode it into maps. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. We now yes. had a second order experience. Yes. And those maps yes. then create our world. And that's mimetics. Yes. Mimetics. Okay, right? Cool. That's what mimetics is. Mimetics is what are the maps uh -huh. which, when I think them, multiply in my mind like a virus. Mm -hmm. And if I give it to you, mm -hmm. you take it on like a virus. Mm -hmm run it through your brain and spread it to others. Mm -hmm. hmm. And which memes, which way, which maps mm -hmm. survive through time, which ones, which are the ones that spread, which are the ones that become dominant, mm -hmm. follows the same path as evolution. Mm -hmm. That just as genes encode consciousness. Mm. Yes. As, and always, this is the non-diaphanous awareness, Consciousness always perceives through a medium. Mm -hmm. That medium is our physical senses. Mm -hmm. It's the hot, pss, mm. I can feel heat. Mm. Therefore, my consciousness will develop around the fact that I can feel heat. Mm. And all of my ideas. Now, here's the thing though. Yes. This whole, okay, so that's autopoiesis, right? Self making, yes, 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 right? Yes. And not that this isn't autopoiesis, but I want to I want to make a distinction called the Fuchberg. You know the Fuchberg? Yes. Right. <laughs> Sal saming, right? Mm -hmm. Just a like a way of going. Well, okay. What's the difference between someone who, as they grow older, they become more flexible, they become they become more fascinated, they become more intrigued, they become more open to learning versus as somebody who gets older they become more repetitive more predictable to the point where it's just you press this button you know exactly what's going to happen what is that difference that makes the difference it's this is that our maps are actually interjects right we get a bunch of interjects that don't come from our they come from our experience in this way. Do this, punishment. Do this, reward. Now, it gets really fucked up if do this, punishment. Do this, reward. Do the same thing where I got a reward, now I get punishment. Now you have a whole fucking weird thing that goes on. The double binds. The double binds, right? Yes. Now, what people that... The difference that makes that difference is that... They have, rather than, they, their maps are actually interjects that aren't based on investigating your actual experience. You just, you swallow them whole. Because, Men, because you don't differentiate yeah. between mm -hmm. human beings mm -hmm. who are sometimes acting out of unwholesome maps. Mm -hmm. Unwholesome in the sense they're inaccurate, mm -hmm. they're shame-based, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're... Um, Designed for power rather yes. than connection. Yes. They're not about vulnerability and mm -hmm. agency. They're about self-sacrifice and mm -hmm. non-selfness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? All of those things, you know, unwholesome. Mm. You don't have a way when you're a kid of differentiating unwholesomeness from reality mm -hmm. or wholesomeness. Mm -hmm. Right? Because if our parents are really in touch with reality, then they give us accurate mm. feedback or asymptotically, you know, orders mm. of magnitude more accurate feedback. They demonstrate agency. Mm -hmm. They encourage agency. Mm -hmm. They yeah. demonstrate vulnerability. They encourage response. What was it like for you? It's about guilt yes. rather than shame. The more they do that, mm. right, then we grow. But in the beginning, we can't differentiate between unwholesomeness and wholesomeness. Yes. So we take in our parents' unwholesomeness as if it's reality. Yes. And that's what you're saying, interpreject, or yes. versus like uh, learning. Learning, right? So once I have this, the game changes. Mm -hmm. It's just stimulus, response. And this, the response creates the stimulus. And my attention isn't um, about discovering, it's collecting evidence for the map. Can I, can I take that a step further? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Here's the interesting thing about the mind. The mind is creative. Mm -hmm. 